Hi guys, uh, I'm going to try to make a very short video um, about uh, replacing the keyboard on uh, Lenovo, uh, Lenovo Legion Y520. Uh, it is a gaming computer and uh, this particular one, uh, it came, uh, the, the customer brought it in uh, with uh, a little spill on the keyboard. The keyboard did fail. Uh, so let's see how that's done. Um, the keyboard on this uh, particular computer, uh, as you will see here, it is attached to the top case of the computer. So that means that you, uh, you, I will really not recommend you to buy just the keyboard itself. And the reason for that is because you will have a hard time removing the old one from the top case and you're gonna have even more uh, trouble at reattaching it. And uh, that's why, so where was I? Uh, oh yeah, I was saying about the, um, uh, the keyboard of having, uh, that you're gonna have problems. If you buy just the keyboard itself, you're gonna have a problem attaching it to the top case. And the reason for that is, I'm gonna show you right now. So this is your keyboard, right? Now, and the top case. The keyboard it's attached to the top case by using these plastic rivets. So the engineers, they, they had a very good idea to use plastic. They melted the plastic. You see, that's what it is. Now, when you're gonna remove the back plate, you're gonna break this plastic, right? Now, when you're gonna reattach it, you're gonna use probably some sort of glue or uh, hot glue or I don't know what else you're gonna use or you're gonna try to remelt this plastic. I guarantee you is not going to hold. Why? When you're typing on a keyboard, you're gonna put enough pressure to break whatever you, you know, you glued here. Now, when you're gonna break that, the plate, the metal plate, will move. It's metal. It's gonna touch the main board. You're gonna have problem. You're gonna kill the computer. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. So basically, what you need to do: buy the whole top case and replace that. It's not that expensive, it is actually cheaper than you think. So now let's let's get to it and show you how to open this computer. Okay. Just give me one second. First off, as I tell anybody, make sure the computer, it is not powered on before you start working on it. This particular one does not have a removable battery. I mean, it is removable, but you'll have to open the back first. So, you'll have four screws on the bottom, three in the middle, and four more on top. They're regular Phillips screws. Let's see, let's get to it. So, all the screws are removed. Actually, they're not, there are two more, so there's six on top, my bad. Okay, so six on the top, three in the middle, four on the bottom. Okay, so the other two screws are right there. Okay, now we're gonna pry the back off. We're gonna open the computer at uh, 90 degrees. And we're gonna use a small pry tool to just do like that and okay. You can use a guitar pick if you don't have a pry tool, you can use uh, cards, 
a credit card you don't use anymore or something like that so okay the back is removed okay this is your back and now you would think that changing the keyboard it's an easy thing it is theoretically but pretty much in order to get to the keyboard you'll have to remove absolutely absolutely everything which is inside from battery uh, hard drive solid state drive hard drive cooling uh, speakers even the LCD so everything will have to go out in order to change the keyboard the top case for this computer <coughs> so uh, as I was mentioning in a different video before, the manufacturers really, really love you, really have you as a console, as a customer in mind, and uh, you know they design the computers in such a way that everything is simple to remove. Not obviously. So let's see. We're gonna remove the battery. Okay, we're gonna pull it from here, from the main board. Okay, battery is removed battery is held together by four screws I'm gonna put that on the side now we're gonna remove the small control board of the trackpad okay our two screws right there we will let me just show you a little bit closer okay is the usual flip which we have to lift up to release these two cables okay we're gonna remove this board okay this is your trackpad board okay we're gonna remove the solid state drive one screw you'll lift it up and pull it towards you that's your solid state drive I'm gonna remove the regular hard drive. There are two screws on the back. One, two, and two screws on the front right here. One, two. Pull it out. Let's set it on the side. Now there is the daughter board which is actually is the ethernet and one of the USBs and the sound. We're gonna remove that one. Now the BIOS battery it is glued so just put something underneath it to release the glue and lift it upwards just like so. The battery is removed. You don't have to physically remove it from the board. We're gonna lift up this flap to release the cable which connects it to the main board and you have three screws uh, I'm sorry two screws in here so it's gonna be one two okay audio board is out okay and that's pretty much it now we're gonna remove all the visible connections from the main board in order to, rem to remove the main board so let's start we remove the backlight cable this one actually the flip instead of lifting you have to slide it towards you okay so let me show you see this one it slides in or out you pull it out we're gonna remove the cable then we're gonna remove this cable which connects the trackpad to the main board remove the Wi-Fi antennas hold it by the actual connection not by the cable itself do yourself a favor this is the keyboard connector I'm gonna pop it up and take it out what else what else we have we have the speakers right here okay so Bring the cables together and just this is a little bit more difficult because it's very snug but if you use your tweezers and 
slowly lift it that's it now this is the power jack this one you will pull that way you removed it okay we're gonna take the cables out of here okay okay now all the visible cables are removed except this one right here on the top which is the LCD gonna remove that one as well and bear with me I need to answer a message okay so we removed the cable the LCD cable and now we'll try to this is the speaker just sit it like that as we will do with this one remove it from the right here okay there is one more cable here which is the camera and the microphone okay so that's gone now don't try to lift it up because it's actually under the, the these two fans so you don't want to break it now we're gonna start to remove any visible screws uh, I start with the fans so there are one to remove only the bigger screws don't remove these little ones okay those you don't have to remove so only the screws which are in a hole those are the one which you have to remove from the from the fan housing now let's see what's under here okay there is a little bit of a tape which is glued and which is holding the the fence connected somehow to the board there is one more screw right here okay so that's one screw right there now we can remove the two fans okay we put it on the side okay and now this one I'm just gonna take it off for now and now let's move on to removing the main board so you have one screw oh, what are you you have one screw right here which has the Lenovo sticker on it so that's one there one right here in the end all the all the screws uh, which are holding the main board uh, attached to the top case are uh, they have a little triangle a little arrow next to them so that makes your life easier you have one more right here okay one on the top and uh let's see yeah that's about it as you see the the main board if I move it it has a little bit of play so obviously I can safely remove it okay and this is your main board removed okay now what else we need to remove yes two more things one is the AC adapter which is right here I mean I'm sorry the DC jack so this is hold together by a little metal which is secured with two screws okay so we will lift that one up and this is your adapter that's what you need to change in case the adapter breaks so there's two screws there you'll just pop it out and hook it up you don't have to remove the main board so you know just this is the cable okay and uh, of course we will have to remove the actual LCD how are we gonna do that easy there are three screws we're gonna start with the black ones so we do one screw here two three 
four and five. Okay, we're gonna remove this plastic. Okay, this one it's held together. It has a little uh, plastic thing is holding it together. So we remove this, and now we can take the antenna cable out and remove the actual hinges of the LCD which are two on each side okay. and you have two more on this side okay so now with the the, the, the screen screws removed all we have to do is try to open up the computer just like so so we loosen the hinges okay and this will slide right out boom okay you have this piece removed now we'll take the new one okay and we're gonna work in reverse Gonna reattach the good keyboard. Okay, and as I as I tell everybody before they go ahead and install anything, go to the trouble of actually removing everything. Try the keyboard, test the keyboard. All you have to do on this one, it's a little bit more tricky because the cable is very short. However, you can just take this cable and plug it into the into the, the computer before you're moving the, the old keyboard. Test all the keys. If all the keys work, you can go ahead and, and replace it. Don't count on the fact that, oh, I'm buying a brand new one, original which and everything should work because trust me it happened to me before when I ordered the original parts and I found that some keys are not working or something like that so that sucked to be honest with you okay so uh, let's get back at assembling this computer uh, now if you forgot where the screws in the hinges go don't worry there are there are some um, uh, some arrows right here showing you okay where so the spots which are marked by an arrow that's where the screw go okay so I have one and two on this side and you have two more on this side Don't over tie these screws, okay. Uh, and you might want to use thread locker, the blue one, so these screws stay in place, okay. Now we can close the lid and let's reattach this little plastic, black plastic thingy. First, we'll have to reroute um, the Wi Fi cables, so we'll put it in here so we'll do with the um, uh, LCD cable and let's just put this seat it in okay we'll have to kind of click in place okay we're gonna reattach you have two long screws the long one goes into the hinge into the right respectively and left hand side Again, don't over tie these screws and none of the screws. So, you know, when you feel it doesn't go in anymore, don't don't try to get an extra uh, quarter of a twist or something like that. Okay? Because you're gone, you might actually break the mounting for the screw. So, there are three screws right here. We'll do the 
connection, the DC adapter. This is where I put it. Uh, okay, DC connector, where are you? Did I lose you? Did you? No, I did not lose you. So, we'll do this fella. I'll put it in place. We put the little metal piece on top of it. Two. Okay. We'll do the main board. Okay. So let's do it like that. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. Now you can. Let me just leave this guy a little bit more. Oh. Bear with me for a second. I have to do some rearrangement here. Okay. With the main board in place, it has some uh, little guiding uh, tabs right there. We should go in one, two tabs, three right here. Pull the cable out, the uh, connector for the backlight, and that's that. You have the main board safe inside. Now, remember, there were uh, four screws which are marked by arrow. So it's one there, two into these corners, and one here on top. Now, you see, I'm, that's my mistake. Uh, don't repeat what I did. Actually, first you'll have to put in the speaker. So it is my bad, that's what happens when you're rushing. And I accept, I do make mistakes sometimes, so I have to work extra uh, for my mistakes. Now, why well, you have to do that? Because remember, this cable went under, under here. So, let's see which one is the left, which one is the right. Okay, so this would be the right speaker, and this is the left speaker. Now we want to put this cable under the heatsink, so you see it will go like this, okay. Just like so, uh, don't worry about uh, routing the cable just yet. Now you can put the screws which hold together the main board, so the four screws. Okay, now we wanna we wanna put the LCD cable in. So that's how we do it. Right there. The speaker will come in here, and the cable it will come something like this. And we'll hook up the cable in. Now we'll put back the fan, the fence. See, okay. There, the Wi Fi cables have to come on top of the fence. Okay, we're gonna put the four screws back in. So we're gonna start with this one here, one. three and four I'm gonna route the cables like such 
ですね。So we don't have them moving or getting in the way of the actual fan. And we're also gonna bring the Wi-Fi cables. Okay. And and the power cable. Okay. So this hook up the fan hook up the power connector that's that then we'll come from the top with the Wi-Fi cables I prefer to do it one by one okay, it's easier so that will come through here. This is pretty, pretty easy. Okay, just gotta pay attention to where they go. And if you push the cable, try not to push it with the tip of the tweezer because the tip of the tweezer, if it's too sharp, it might actually pierce through the through the enclosure of the cable, and you might actually cut the cable. You really don't want to do that, especially not on the antenna cable, or actually on none of the cables and now we can set it up so the black cable goes in first gray one on the outside and now we're gonna put the speaker in and we're gonna come with the cable of the speaker next to the place where the antennas are just like this and everything is nice inside we have no loose cables anywhere okay set here okay and that's about it as you see now we're gonna put in the soundboard okay lift this cable up set it up here you'll want to start from right here you'll put it into there and then you just put it down remember there were two screws which go the position of the screws again it is marked by arrows so don't put a screw where there is no arrow because in that position there are the screws which are holding back the, the bottom case we're gonna connect the cable close the flap put in the hard drive Okay, now the, the hard drive you have to notice where the connections are okay so it will go like this so the label is supposed to be facing you you'll sit it down right here and then you slowly push it until all the holes aligns with with the posts so you have four screws here gonna reattach the SSD okay this one you put it at around 45 degree angle and then you just push it in you have one screw holding it together we're gonna put a little board right here which is connecting the um, the trackpad so we're gonna take this one remember we're missing a cable which is this one which we removed so we'll put we'll put it like this and there are two little uh, screws in here one on the right one on the left Make sure that you can feel the mouse clicking. Yes, it is clicking. I'm gonna connect the cable 
from the mouse to the little control board and from the control board you have this little cable now if you see on one end it's labeled MB one end is TP okay so MB means motherboard so this end will go into the main board like so okay and this one it will go right here TP comes from trackpad uh, we're gonna connect the backlight cable for the for the keyboard and it looks like we have all the cables connected right now we're gonna add the battery in okay we're not gonna connect it just yet just gonna put it in like this okay put in the four screws why I don't uh, hook it up yet because I want to double check that absolutely everything is connected before I apply power to the computer and yes applying power um, when you plug in the battery that is uh, the, the, the current will, will uh, go through the uh, through the main board even though the computer is not turned on the computer the main board still receives power and you can still damage it by touching certain components and shorting them out so the last check we have the LCD cable in we have the SSD we have the audio uh, we have the power we have the fans uh, okay everything is hooked up except okay yes sir so no actually yes everything is hooked up now let's plug in the battery Okay, we're gonna hook up the battery. Oops, gotta hook up the keyboard, I guess, right? So, put in the cable. This cable should be connected before we put in the battery. It's gonna be easier for you. However, I did not, so I'm gonna hook it up right now. It does not really matter which is the order you choose to connect it. Okay, I'm gonna plug in the battery. And moment of truth, let's flip the computer over, turn it on, and here we go, the keyboard lights up. Let's see, let's plug it in, make sure, okay, this computer, yeah, we have the Lenovo, not sure how much battery this computer has, but uh, I guess it's, it has enough. Okay, so yeah, okay, the computer did start up, let's see, the mouse is working, and let's see here, we're going to remove the user, count, and we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I'm going to show you uh, the look at the password, let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, so everything works, we'll do a uh, couple symbols okay so everything does work okay gonna do update and shut down okay we're gonna reattach we're gonna reattach the back case of it which is the easiest thing to do and we are done I'm not sure how long this video took um, I might have done it a little bit faster than you would do it especially if you do it in the first time for the first time but again this is really is not a complicated one it's just a little it's a little bit time consuming because as I said you have to remove absolutely everything from the inside of the computer in order to change the uh, to change the, the keyboard now this video will serve you if you need to replace just the battery in this computer if you need to clean your fans you see how you get to it if you need to change the fan assembly if you need to change the SSD or the regular hard drive basically everything you need to remove from the computer this video can definitely help you out because um, I pretty much disassembled absolutely everything Okay, the only thing which I did not disassemble is the actual LCD, but that would be for some other time. If somebody brings me the exact 
uh, the exact computer with a cracked screen then I'm gonna definitely make a video on how to remove it it's very simple it is not a touch screen so it's basically it will be just a bezel removal uh, the cables and replacement so that's an easy video anyways that's a story for some other time we're gonna put in all the screws close this computer up uh, and call the customer letting me know that the computer is ready so yeah uh, as I always say I hope you guys have learned something from this uh, from this video um, I hope I helped you in one way or another uh, if this video helped you please uh, like the video leave any comments if you have any uh, with any questions I'll try to answer it um, as soon as I have some time and uh, don't forget to subscribe to, to my channel many more videos are planned to come thank you so much again till next time